Hey girl, hey girl, oh oh. Hi dolls, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bibi, and I'm back with another video. You can tell from the title. So today I'll be doing a beginner-friendly makeup tutorial. So if you're a beginner, you're trying to start out like makeup, or you want to get start with the powder, or you want to get into makeup. Um, I'll say you don't need all of these products that I'm using, but I'm here to teach you some techniques and some tricks and some stuff that people won't show you, people won't tell you. So, first of all, I'm gonna start off with doing my eyebrows. But lately, I haven't been doing my eyebrows because I really don't be seeing the need to. My eyebrows, my eyebrows are already full, and most times I just outline it with concealer, and that's it. But today, just for this video, I will do my eyebrows. Just for y'all, I'm doing this for y'all. The people who want to learn how to do makeup, okay? So I do everything step by step so you will understand and see what I'm doing and get more. I'll get a little bit in depth and certain stuff. If I talk too much and ramble, please let me know in the comments. Um, you know, uh, so we will use the tree of these okay the reason I use a pencil is because I don't really need to fill in I just outline most of the time so I really don't do a lot of filling in because my brows are already full I just do a lot of outlining and like shaping and making it more detail like you know to your brows put more detail into my brows in an upward motion I, normally like I said I just outline so what I do I just hold it lightly and not press R because that's gonna give you a harsh line especially if you're using a dark a dark shade this is not too dark it's a good shade it's not black at least you know do not use black do not at all so I will start from the outside in place blending it so the line is not there no more just like to do my eyebrows like the brush have to be very flat it don't matter this one I got from five and below a little while back I don't know if they still carry it they might they might not but this is the one that I got and I always start off like doing the outside first and then shaping it however I want to and I feel like this is the best part of doing our boss is using concealer. And I'll do, also do the top of my brows also, just because I haven't been doing that lately and I feel like... And I use foundation for the top of my brow. Whatever foundation shade you normally use, that's why I used to do the top because I feel like the top don't need to be that light as the bottom. could even make yourself an arch and everything like even if you want it to be round off or like an arch you could make that like doing eyebrows it's just you have to have a lot of patience and even if you mess up you just have to fix it on this sponge I got from Target and I use it to do everything any dry I was using a dry sponge but I feel like people don't tell you when you use a wet sponge it's more harder because now the spots that are it's it's more of it's taking off the product that you're trying to put on so I'm saying like 
if the sponge is even damp it's taking off more product somebody who would use like a damp sponge they might want less of everything less foundation less of everything something that look really 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 really, really skin finish and when I say that is because the sponge when it's wet and you try to put on liquid on top of that it starts to leave patches and blotch like blotches in on your face and your makeup and you don't notice it until you already finished doing everything and then you try to set your face on top of that it's like trying to start over now we're gonna go into primer foundation and concealer I might use this you can get Target Walmart like your drugstore these are drugs this is drugstore product um a lot of people use that they be sleep on elf elf is a good brand um very affordable everybody knows i use if you watch my video what you know um i use nars and anastasia beverly ellis foundation and they're good and i love them those are my go-to right now but listen y'all i went to Ulta one day and you know i was buying stuff and i just was like i need a new foundation i need to try something else because i love to try different foundations and just know what's good for me and what's not and even if i spend the money on it and even if i return it and because it's good to know what foundation is the it's like the second foundation does that make sense or no foundation is the second layer that you put on to hold the foundation of like to build to build up the foundation for your makeup look so I'll say always make sure you get good foundation good foundation is the key all them other cheap products and all them other cheap whatever else you use you could use that but when it comes to foundation make sure that you you don't gotta spend a lot of money make sure you get the right one and make sure you get the right product the right shade for your skin because it could go left very quick when you find out it's too it looks too like it dries up too much it looks like it oxidized it looks like it's too dewy it looks like it's too matte it looks like it's a lot of stuff it looks like it's not full coverage it looks like it's so I'll say like if you know what you want and you know what you want you just go get it so you have to know like your skin type you have to know if you are combination oily or dry you have to know your well you won't know your, your shade but you should know a little bit about like if you're warm or cool tone like neutral stuff like that you should know a little bit or if you don't know research it a little bit just to know what shade you are in or what type of foundation you're gonna fall in like bracket like the bracket so I'll say me personally I run through a lot of foundations I will I use I tried most of the foundations before and I'll say right now I only have like three major foundations that's not cap I have like four major foundations that I use expensive and inexpensive so I'll say for my inexpensive I use Maybelline fit me off wrap and I use the dewy one I do not use matte because like I say my skin is combination and it's oily to dry so it's in between it could be dry some days a little bit and it could be it don't ever be oily so I try to stay away from matte foundations because I already put powder on top of that. That means it's going to make it even more matte. So all of that you have to take in, take in and say, hey, my skin is this way and I don't want it to look this way. So I'm going to try this way. Yeah. So yes, I use a dewy foundation. I always make sure it's dewy full coverage and all of that. Foundation is the Becca Ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation and it's in the shade coconut that's my shade you could go in and let them figure out what's your shade if they still have it i heard this company is going out of or the foundation i don't know quote unquote quote unquote i don't know for real for real but i heard they're going out of business but i'm not sure 
but I'll be pissed if they are going out of business because I just find y'all and I feel like y'all are great. This is a great ass product, a great ass foundation. And I feel like if I had known about them a little bit earlier, but these YouTubers don't be doing giving that much details for us to even know anything much about any type of product. They don't sit down and give us the rundown. Most of them, I say all of them, but most of them. So I really don't feel from YouTube to try to learn about products because some people they don't want to give you the rundown because they don't want you to learn and be better than me. And I just feel like everybody is not even being better than people. It's like everybody could get it. It's everybody's their own unique self. So it's okay if you share your products with me. It's okay if you tell me what lipstick like, like your lip combo like. It's okay. Like you might be doing it better than me, but some people feel to understand like. Everybody's gonna do it differently, but they don't want that. They want to just give you a little a tiny bit. They don't want you to learn and they don't want you to be on the same level or higher than them. And that's what people are always, 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 always trying to reel you in, but they're not trying to help you to stay there a little bit until you get on your feet. So, me personally, I don't mind saying what products I use because, baby, I'm different, you're different, you're going to do it different, you might do it better, you might not, I might be doing it better than you. It don't even matter, it's not a competition. We're not in competition with each other, we're in competition with ourselves. So, at this point, we're in our own lanes and I don't really care what you do with this product. I just know if you use it and it's good for you, it, I'm, I'm happy that you learn how to do makeup. I don't want people to be out there looking like clowns. People laughing at them, people bullying them, like, oh, all makeup is not good. Who told her to come out of the house like that? Because some people would do that. So, if I could teach you what I learned from being a self taught makeup artist, I would teach you that. And I don't mind. You could take my products, you could take my techniques, you could take what brushes I use. You just can't buy it out, buy it all out. Because I need them. I need them too. So, yeah, just don't buy everything out when I send you. Just don't. And I think that's what, what's the biggest thing is people feel like, oh, if I tell them what I use, they're going to go buy it out. Everybody's going to go buy it out. And then I won't get any. And it's, it's kind of iffy. Like, yeah, that's true. But don't be selfish. You know, it's okay. We all got to eat some out. And if she want to buy it, she want to buy it, she want to buy it, she want to buy it. Oh, so well. Just, you just got to stock up. When you see it, stock up. Because you know them girls finna grab it. So, with that being said, I use this, and this goes a long way, y'all. I just do a couple pumps on my face, and it works perfectly fine. Or sometimes I do it on my wrist and then put it in, but lately I've been doing it on my face, so. Make sure you shake it up, because I don't know what be going on with these foundations and all these. Then I take my, my sponge is not damp, it's dry. The same sponge I did my eyebrows with, and I just pat it in. Then I do my forehead also, just a little bit. My keep it going, my chin. I spray my face. I spray my face first. 
just to loosen up everything else so it can blend seamlessly. So I use this for like a rose water. And I say you can get it at Target, you can get it at Walmart. I think always going. Oh, don't use the line, use the flat part because that's gonna mess it up. And I always try to go close to the bridge of my nose a little bit. And sometimes I do my eyelids when I don't have no nothing on my eyelids. Because remember I told y'all we're gonna do a brown lid. I like this side because like you could blend it out And so this is actually the setting powder, not the setting powder, the pressed powder. I use pressed powder after because still then you want to make things go really fast because you want to. So it's the mineralizing skin finish natural pressed powder in the shade dark tan and it's by MAC. This is my go-to. I use this if every day if I can but I don't wear makeup every day. I may wear makeup when I need to, not when I don't. from Airsprung. I think this is under CoverGirl. I'm not sure who brand is this, but I think CoverGirl owns this. I think this is by CoverGirl. Um, so this is the Airspring and it's in the shade um, Naturally Natural. And this is why I set my own side face with, especially under my eyes mostly. That's why, let me tell y'all the trick. Do never, never in your life Put on concealer under your eyes or any part of your face and then go in and bake. It's going to be a disaster. Don't ever do that. Always make sure your face is set. If you want to bake or put on powder on your eye, always make sure your face is set before you go in and put on a powder. You got to put on the powder, then put on the powder. Don't put on one powder. And then expect you, your face to be licky and snatch and stuff. No, it's going to look a disaster. So uh, especially when you're on the eyes, make sure you always put on a pressed powder before you bake. You can put on a pressed powder or a loose powder before you bake under your eyes. It don't matter what powder you put on, just put on a powder. Make sure it's either your skin tone or it don't really have to be your skin tone because then you could go over back with your powder for your skin complexion. But just make sure you put on a powder before you bake or before you let everything set. Just put on a powder, please. I'm telling y'all. It's going to work. Okay? So with this, what I normally do is go over...
um, fill contour with. I'm, I'm not gonna, some people do liquid contour, but you have to know how to maneuver with a liquid contour. So I just. Nobody taught me how to do eyebrows and all of that. But one day I said, I want to learn how to do makeup because like I normally do hair. Um, and I'm like, this was before Instagram, before YouTube was really big. Like YouTube was really a thing. Um, I don't think a lot of people was doing makeup tutorials. And I really wanted to start. I'm going to do a story time on that and why I didn't start. But um, I would always say, like, if you want to go for something, like, if you want to um, be a YouTuber, if you want to, like, be an influencer or anything in life, never procrastinate. Never tell yourself, I'm going to do it when I get X, Y, and Z. Never do that shit. Because you will still end up not getting X, Y, and Z, and you still... Yeah, sorry, my camera died. But I was saying, like, never procrastinate. Never, um wait till you get something then be like okay i'm gonna just wait it out or like tell yourself like oh, i don't have it now so i'm not gonna start or i'm not gonna do this or i'm not gonna baby don't do that i'm telling you it's, it's setting you up for failure in life like it's the devil like no don't do that because that was me a couple years ago when i wanted to do makeup and wanted to do i would low-key learn makeup and buy all the products from the beauty supply store because that's where I started off. Like, I know Shim Beauty Supply Store. I love them and I will always go back to stay products. Because beginner, if you cannot afford nothing, be, um, I was in college at the time and I just feel like when you're in college, you don't really get, like, no money like that. So, and if you do, somebody must be giving you it or whatever. But me personally, I was getting money because I was doing hair. But I, I didn't know any alter. I didn't know. I thought the beauty supply was the plug. Like, I thought back then the beauty supply store was the plug for makeup and hair. And I feel still strongly feel it's kind of you just got to really know what you're getting and know what you want. I mean, you shop at the beauty supply store. But... Yes, y'all. I saw the beauty supply store was the plug at the time because I didn't know any better. I didn't know the beauty supply store is really good. People be sleeping on the beauty supply store stuff. Very much sleeping. Like they had I've dead on the beauty supply store. Um, but I saw the beauty supply store was the plug at the time. But little did I know. It was just the starting of being the plug, you know? But yeah, do not procrastinate on your dreams, aspirations, goals, or anything you want to accomplish. Do not procrastinate. Never tell yourself, I'll wait till I get this X, Y, and Z, and I, then I'll start off my business. I'll start my business when I get a little bit more funds, or I start up when I get a printer, or when I... How you finna get it if you don't go out and get it? That's why I... No. Don't procrastinate. Always, always, always say you can get it and it will come to pass. Okay? So, don't procrastinate and all them extra stuff that people be doing because you will not get by if you procrastinate. But I saw the beauty supply store as a plug and I used to go to the beauty supply store all the time. And that's how I know about a little bit of stuff. And I used to. I always wanted to do videos, y'all, but I feel like to be on TV, to be in the front of a crowd or in front of people who are going to, because you have to understand that this in this life, in time, people are very judgmental, and you have to have a strong 
mind, a strong mind. Yeah, to be on the internet and to be in a crowd of people and people watching you, people looking up to you or some way or form, people just liking you and then they have people who don't like nothing that you post or just watch your stuff just to watch it and don't support you, you know what I mean? It's hard and it's tough and I feel like you as a person, as a human being who have feelings, have to build yourself up at some point to understand that you don't, like, to don't give a shit at all, like, I can't even curse on you. But to don't care, like, about other people's opinion. And I feel like me seeing, there's a time when Instagram that was not in style. Instagram was not out there yet. Um, it was Facebook. But me, I used to watch people get bullied on Facebook so much. Like, you could be the prettiest and you just getting bullied, dry, your name getting, you getting into fights and stuff. And I just feel like I didn't know if I was ready for stuff like that. And then you could be doing that and you could just be wanting to sell clothes or like maybe just post your nice pictures or like ask me the dumbest things and people used to get bullied for it. So me not, not used to something like that and then trying to put myself out there, it was hard because at the same time I was very shy and... I was still learning myself. I was young. I was like, I'll stay. I maybe was like 20. And I was still learning myself and learning who I am and who, what I want to do for real, for real. That I I decided to take the time to learn myself so I, yes, procrastinate. And I, I told myself, like, listen, girl, you got to get yourself together first before you do YouTube. Or before you put out any videos, because one thing I could say, my mom always said till this day, that when you put stuff out on the internet, it's gonna always be on the internet. So that still stuck with me. Like, be mindful of what you put out, because it's gonna be out there, regardless if you delete it or not. It's still gonna be out there. So um, I procrastinate because of that too, because I wanted to make sure my shit is not like perfect. But in my eyes, good enough. If it's good enough for me, it's gonna be good enough for you. You know what I mean? Like, so I wanna make sure that my stuff is good enough to be seen, good enough to be watched, good enough for people to understand and know what I'm talking about, or know what I'm doing, or try to pick up. Because me, I'm all about teaching people. I'm not about just trying to, I know a lot of people might think like, oh, she just, it's, it's just about the beauty. It's not really about like, teaching people I at the time when I was putting out those videos um I was doing it on my phone and on my phone was telling me that I could only put out certain timing like I could make it long and I was trying to make it not so long because people don't want to see a long video that that to them is boring it gotta make some type of sense it gotta be some type of entertainment in it and to me I'm just doing makeup so I try to fast forward and like make it faster so that people could catch on but then I realized that I'm losing people because people are not watching because they're I'm going so fast it's looking good it's look pretty but I don't get what you're doing like I see you doing it but I, I can't even catch on to even say okay I, I can do it too you know so with that I had to really regroup myself and really understand like yeah people people are watching but but they don't understand because you're moving so fast. And then I had to realize like people say what they want to say at this end of the day. You know, some people learn, some people don't learn. Some people just want to have something to say. You really you ain't really they don't need to say nothing. But when when I decided to start, it was very late in my life. And I just was like, let me put on this lashes, y'all, because I'm just getting pissed off by this. Hold on, y'all. Cause my eyes is getting watery and the lashes are coming off. Yeah, so I put off a lot and I told myself like I'ma do it when I own this. I'ma do it this. I'ma do it that. Do not progressing. If you want to start something, you want to accomplish something in life, just do it. Don't procrastinate. It's gonna always be negative people out there. It's gonna always be people who's gonna say something. It's always gonna be you can be doing good and people still talk about you. 
So I feel like that's me. I really had to build myself up because I really learned that this world was very harsh at a young age. This world was very cold. People do not care about your feelings. And I had to build my feelings up before I come in front of people. Because I know a lot of people, they might not tell their story that they really cry because of what people say to them. Somebody could say something to me and I could care less. Because at the end of the day, the old world is talking. You understand me? The old world is talking about somebody. So you might think you're talking about me, but somebody's talking about you. And then it goes on and goes on. So it's a line of people talking. So I'm not going to be mad and beat you up because you're talking about me. It's okay. I'm cool with that. I'm fine. But what you're not going to do is disrespect me. That's what you're not going to do. So... I feel like I had to learn. Like people are gonna talk. You could you could only do so much. You can you you finna upset, make your day bad because of other people. You finna upset yourself because of other people. No, sis, you can. So I feel like I built myself up with this confidence, like to never let people bring me down that bad or low in my life, especially to cry over what somebody gotta say about me. That they clearly don't know me. They're watching it from the inside. They haven't slept or walked in my shoes one day in their life. They haven't, you know, they haven't really done any. They haven't really done anything. So like for me to say, hey, I should cry because this person said X, Y, and Z about me. This person did not like my stuff. This person. If 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 people just go around doing that. Your life will be miserable, like, damn, like, no, you won't even have a life because you depend on what people say about you, and that's bad. That's terrible. Yes, I do listen to people's opinions on stuff, but, um, it depends. It depends on what you're telling me. You know what I mean? That's like you, it depends on what somebody else tells you. Somebody else tells you to do this, it's like, yeah, sure, you won't do it. So, oh y'all, I feel like I'm crying, like, y'all, so I had to really build myself up so I won't have to be a crybaby on social media because it's going to always be backlash, it's going to always be people talking about you, regardless if you're doing good, you could have, I would tell people, like, nobody's perfect in this world, we all have flaws, so for you to judge me and tell me what is wrong with me there's something wrong with you right there for you to sit there and and comment on my stuff and say what's wrong with me personally which you don't really know something is mentally wrong with you so why would i cry about mentally somebody who is mentally ill mm. yeah no i'm not gonna do that that's that's, that's over with that's done so yeah i really had to build myself up to not care about what people say and I, I, I aced it you know let people choose and pick what people are gonna like who they wanna like and that's cool y'all gotta understand like this world is full of judgment to people and uh when they judge you let them because at the end of the day they could only do so much as judging me like like I don't really care for judgment to people they could only do so much to hurt me and they really ain't doing that. They're really not doing that. So I say, when, when you decide to put yourself out there, you gotta be very strong-minded. I want to be strong-hearted because your mind has to be very strong to be out there in like social media world or like to post yourself. You have to have confidence within you and um, not to be be lead on by little stuff that people say about you not to be influenced by nothing people tell you or how people feel like they sh you should live your life and they should live their life like this but you can't tell them how to live their life but they can tell you how to live yours because you're the person i look up to you're the person i this um look up to yourself if you feel like my life is not good enough you know what i mean you might as well sit there and look up to yourself. You might as well be your own inspiration. If you finna judge what I'm doing. If you want to fix me, you need to fix your life. 
if you want to fix something about me, you got to fix something about you. Because clearly you're not, you're not capable of nothing right now. Because you still trying to fix what I got going on. That you can't fix yourself. And that's people fail to realize. Stop trying to fix other people like influencers and trying to live their life for them. Because you feel like this the best life that they should have. How do you know what's the best life they should have? How do you even know if they're having the best life of their life? Or you just think like they should have the best life because you see them and they, whatever they show you is is not good enough. It's the people, the audacity of people nowadays. Um, I just don't begin. So yeah, I build myself up. My confidence is on a t it's on a million. You know what I mean? And I love myself. I'm obsessed with me. I don't care what nobody say. Be obsessed with yourself. Love you. You gotta be your first love before you can love anybody else. And if you have fans, or you have people that look up to you, or whatever the case may be, I won't say fans in general. Just people that that love you and your personality. Try to inspire them. Try to motivate them to love their stuff and stop watching at me and wanting what I got. Want something better for yourself. Don't want to be better than me. Don't want to be me. Want to be better. So a lot of people don't say that. And I know I bragged a lot and say a lot, but. It's true, a lot of people don't tell their fans or tell their people, like, listen, I want y'all to be like me. Be better than me. Try to be accomplish something higher than on my level. Don't be on my level. Don't try to be in competition with me. Try to be in competition with yourself, and then at this point, you'll be in competition with yourself. You'll be on such a higher level than me. And it's okay. You know what I mean? People don't understand. But they fall to realize. That, that's the truth like you want to be in competition with somebody so bad be in competition with yourself and you will always win you won't have to worry about if you play in second place because you will always be in first place you won't be third first you won't be second third fourth last or whatever the case maybe you will always be in first place because you in competition with yourself when you're in competition with other people you will always come last because your mindset is not about you your mindset is worrying about that person if you stay in your own lane you won't crash and that's on period. So, mind the business that pay you. And if your belt is too hard to take on, listen. Still pay. Because that's your business. Like, <laughs> that's your business. Still pay your bills. Like, no. Y'all be tripping. Y'all be ready to take these people life and tell them, like, I think you, ma'am, or sir, should do X, Y, and Z because it's better for you and it, it, it works. And I don't believe that what you did was good. Okay? And what you doing? That's why I taught nothing. So, my business. Yes, I'll say when you put yourself out there, love yourself and don't worry about what people gotta say. Keep doing you. You know what I mean? We all got flaws, we just don't talk about it. And it's okay. We don't need to talk about our flaws. And if people see it, then let them talk about it. It's cool. You're doing fine and you're doing great. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. People opinion right now in my book, it don't really even matter. My book won't even have a page for your opinion. Like, that's how bad it is, like, at this point. It don't. I laugh at every, I learned to laugh. I was so serious, y'all. One point that everything people say, I just feel like it was disrespectful. To this point, I just laugh at shit. Like, I just damn near laugh at everything. I don't take nothing serious. Only the stuff that I need to take serious, I take serious. But really and truly, I just laugh at stuff because life is so short to be bitter and like depressed for some stupid stuff. Like depressed that oh she finna talk about me or this person talk about me or this person this. It's like life is so short. Like that's what you wanna do. That's what she wanna do. That's what she gonna do. If she wanna talk while you let her talk. Then. So I'm gonna do my eyelids in the brown that I told y'all. That's all I was playing. I was not. Oh no, 
I was looking, I never did. So yeah, just mind the business that pays you. And if your bills are not paid, don't worry about how you can get it paid because these people do not pay you and they do not care. They do not. Um, so for eyelight, I use the Maybelline Master Comb by, by Face Studio. And it's in, and y'all know I already set my face. Well, I didn't spray my face yet, but I'm gonna do lips and then I'm gonna do everything else. So for my lips, I'm gonna wipe off. I'm trying to see if I wanna wipe off my lips. I'll just do the bottom. All right, y'all. For lips, I'm gonna do like a nude, y'all already know, or I should just go back and do my pink lips like I normally do. So my lip combo is the same pencil that I use for my eyebrows. That's the trick, y'all. The trick, use the same pencil that I use for my eyebrows. You just gotta sharpen it again. And this lipstick is by Revlon, okay? And it's in the shade Sky Pink, my favorite. It always is sold out. So if you get it, you get it. I don't care because it's always sold out most of the time. That's why I always purchase two of them when I get it. And I get it from like Target most of the time. But it's, well, she's, but it's always sold out. But that's my lip combo that I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with line on my lips. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Please remember to press the notification bell so you guys get notified when I post new videos. See you guys in my next video. Bye.